So it's a uh, big bad Rob build vlog part two. Um, I set up the frame uh, to all the sizes that I wanted it to be. I made sure that everything is perpendicular and it's a bit hard to see from this angle and I'm going to move the camera around in a second. But everything lines up almost perfectly. The only thing that is not yet 100% lined up is the x-axis uh, toward, toward the base. Um, but I'm going to have to move that around anyway. The next thing that I have to do is uh, there's no there's no end cap for the x-axis yet where the belt is going to go around. Uh, that is completely missing yet. I've designed a part and I think this may work out well, but yeah, let's see. All of the other parts fit really well. It's it's really fun working on this. All the parts just go into their place and stay there. It's a lot different than printing all of the parts and hoping that they come together right and that everything comes out of the 3D printer. Um, but apart from that, this is working out fine. Um, maybe you didn't realize or I didn't, I, I don't think I talked about this. I'm going to have a, uh, the, the, the build area is only going to be held in place with one of these uh, sliders and uh, there's going to be a bearing with a spacer um, that's going to make sure that if somebody presses down on the build area that it won't bend down too much but it's just going to be supported by one slider and uh, one roller bearing on the on the right side here that's it as far as i can tell and when i'm done with this the only challenge that i'm facing right now is that i have very little space um, on top of this uh, 90 degree plate um, to mount the stepper that will be guiding the um, x-axis crane but I think I can work out something. There's still a lot of space. The only thing that I don't know yet is how low I can go with the stepper motor uh, down to the base here. Uh, that might prove to be a problem because I do not want to move in on the x-axis uh, because I don't want to take any any of the available space away from there. But Apart from that, this is uh, this is going on really well, and I'll show you the details now. So this here is the front view of the z-axis, and um, you can see it's moving really nicely on the slider. Uh, the x or y-axis belt here, um, that assembly is already um, well. I'm pretty happy with it say it that way. Well, the only thing is that this stepper should go somewhere here, uh, but there's this really big screw and either it has to fit on top of it. Um, by that way I will lose some of the available height here. Not too much, but a bit and I don't know where I can mount the stepper. I have to work this out somehow. Uh, I do not want to move it too far to the inside um, because that is area that I can still use with the extruder. So, not sure where I'm going to go with this right now. Um, the other option would be uh, to mount that stepper motor up here and have the threaded rod go down. That doesn't seem too bad of an idea, but I have no idea how I'm going to mount the stepper um, in a way that it doesn't flex at all and that that 
there's no risk of uh, of damaging it during transport but that might still be an idea I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go but definitely worth thinking about so the uh, y-axis is working beautifully um, these are just two very simple bearings here uh, but with the acrylic everything is so sturdy I actually had a, a, a cover for here to make sure that this can't move at all and it, it's not moving I'm not going to need it and I'm not going to use it I suppose uh, I need to cut these screws because they're too high but I can do that later when I have to take it all apart again before I do the uh, the final assembly so that's where I'm at right now and uh, I'm really happy with it all of the all of the angles between between the base and the x-axis are absolutely perfect um, to zero point something degrees uh, absolutely level flat and I'm not going to have any issues with the extruder and with the alignment and if it stays that way hey that's super and I'm really looking forward to it but the, um, the z-axis is currently a thing that I don't know how I'm going to do it uh, one other thing I'm getting ready to do another cut with the, uh, with the laser cutter um, and people have been asking how I cut the acrylic material um, I do two cuts with 20 millimeters per second at 80% laser intensity um, which is um, the setting the setting S uh, for the for the PWM so it's um, S800 F20 and um, with two passes across that and um, I got this acrylic um, I think over Amazon and it, and it cuts really well and there's it's almost perfect afterwards you can have really small holes just make sure if you want to cut a hole don't don't construct your holes with 200 points um, it's gonna to be too slow uh, usually I have between 10 and uh, 16 uh, lines per circle so uh, it keeps moving relatively fast and uh, it works out really well yeah I just wanted to say that